now let us look at this question they are saying define the connective star for two valued variables a b and c as follows a star b is equal to ab plus a complement b complement and let c is equal to a star b they are saying c is equal to a star b now determine which of the following is valid first is a is equal to b star c b is equal to a star c a star b star c is equal to 1 they are asking which of the following is valid okay so let us first of all we know what is c c can be written as a star b which is equal to ab plus a complement b complement they have already given this if we take c complement then it can be written as a star b whole complement which is ab plus a complement b complement whole complement which can be you can apply de morgan's law on this so if you apply de morgan's law you can say it is ab complement dot a complement b complement whole complement further you can expand it so it can be written as a complement plus b complement dot here also you can expand it so it can be written as a plus b whole complement complement which is equal to a complement plus b complement dot ab now if you open this bracket so it can be written like this a complement dot a plus a complement dot b plus b complement dot a plus b complement dot b and you know what is a complement dot a and what is b complement dot b this is equal to 0 and this is also equal to 0 so it can be written as a complement dot b plus b complement dot a so this is c complement okay so i am finding c and c complement initially because these values i will be utilizing while i will be solving this question okay so first part is they are saying prove that which of the following is valid so first part is they are saying a is equal to b star c a is equal to b star c is it valid or not okay so this is the left hand side and this is the right hand side let us take the right hand side first rhs right hand side is b star c and here they are using a star operation operator hence it can be written as b dot c plus b complement dot c complement now you know why i have already calculated what is c and c complement i can just put these values over there so if i put these values it can be written as b dot a b plus a complement b complement which is the value of c plus b complement dot and the value of c complement is a complement b plus a b complement so further it can be written like this open the brackets a dot b dot b plus a complement dot b complement dot b plus a complement dot b dot b complement plus a b complement dot b complement so it can be written as a b plus here you take we have b complement dot b which is equal to 0 so it is a complement dot 0 plus here you can have, we have b dot b complement which is equal to 0 so it can be written as a complement dot 0 plus a b complement further it can be written as a b plus a b complement plus 0 plus 0 you can take a as common between these two so it is a b plus b complement which is equal to a dot 1 which is equal to a and this is equal to the left hand side of this question so you can say you can say this one is valid the first one is valid now let us take the second one let us take the second one second one is saying we have b is equal to a star c b is equal to a star c is it valid or not let us take the right hand side this is the right hand side right hand side says we have we have a star c so it can be expanded like this a dot c plus a complement dot c complement and you know what is the value of c and c complement put these values here so it can be written as a dot 
ए बी प्लस ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट प्लस ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट डॉट ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट बी प्लस ए बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट फर्दर इट कैन ऑल्सो बी टर्न लाइक दिस वी हैव ए डॉट ए डॉट बी प्लस ए डॉट ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट डॉट बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट प्लस ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट डॉट ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट डॉट बी प्लस ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट डॉट ए डॉट बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट इट इज इक्वल टू ए बी दिस इज जीरो सो इट इज प्लस बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट डॉट जीरो प्लस दिस इज इक्वल टू ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट डॉट बी प्लस दिस इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो इट इज बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट डॉट जीरो विच इज इक्वल टू ए बी प्लस ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट बी प्लस जीरो प्लस जीरो फर्दर यू कैन टेक बी एज कॉमन बिटवीन दिस टू सो इट कैन बी टर्न एस ए प्लस ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट विच इज इक्वल टू बी डॉट वन विच इज इक्वल टू डी इट सेल्फ हेंस द ऑप्शन दिस सेकेंड पार्ट इज ऑल्सो वैलिड दिस इज ऑल्सो वैलिड नो लेट एस टेक द थर्ड पार्ट थर्ड पार्ट इज सेंग दिस वन मे बी माई ट्रिकी एज कंपेयर टू द प्रीवियस वन सो इट इज सेंग वी हैव ए स्टार बी स्टार सी इज इक्वल टू वन ए स्टार बी स्टार सी इज इक्वल टू वन so now let us take the left hand side here in this case left hand side it is saying we have a star b star c you can associate according to your preference but let us say i am going to expand this one first b star c just for example okay so there are no associativity defined in this case so i am just going to expand this one first so it is a star what is b star c or uh, yes there is one more there is a, a better way of writing this right so let me just do it again we already know we already know that a star b is ab plus a complement b complement and c can be written as a star b right and here in this case here in this case we already have a star b so it can also be written like this it is c star c so if we have c star c now put these values into this so we will get c dot c plus c complement dot c complement which is equal to c plus c complement which is equal to 1 so it is one of the most easiest one right fine so now let us take few more examples of these kind of questions and then we'll move on to what are functional properties uh, in case of digital logic or you can say in case of switching algebra